there folks thanks for clicking onto my channel today this is cookie with sasha china and tonight i'm going to show you how i do summer lamb tray bake yep so what we've got on the chopping board today is some lamb leg steaks as you can see i got some uh, fresh leaf parsley some vine tomatoes a courgette and a mixed bag of veg that i'm going to pop in there as well i've also done a homemade pesto um i shall do a video on that but we all know what that's made of it's basically basil parmesan olive oil and some garlic but there we go um for who don't i will make a video and y'all can you know watch it and learn it and stuff and also got some artichokes here that we're gonna pop in Alrighty, guys so this is my dinner i hope you enjoy it let's get cooking okay so now what i've done i've prepped everything um as you can see from here i have got the uh zucchini courgette and uh tomatoes all chopped up i've uh chopped up the uh, mixed bag of veg which was the broccoli baby sweet corn carrots and green beans if you have fresh, use fresh. I just bought a bag of mixed veg because it's like super easy. Um, also, I got some uh, freshly parsley there as well. My homemade pesto, which I will do a video on. Again, I'm going to reiterate it. It's just basil, parmesan, garlic, olive oil. Whiz it together. Lovely, lovely. Sorry. That thing to do one. Um, also, you're going to need your um, lamb leg steaks chopped up as well um, if you can't get a hold of lamb leg steaks just use lamb neck that's fine any cut of lamb is fine um, also i forgot to mention before um, get yourself some potatoes which i have chopped up all ready to go i have however left the skins on because well i'm a bit lazy um yeah if you don't want to use potatoes or don't want to use any of the other ingredients, by all means, don't use them. Interpret how you want to. This is how I do them as well. I also got a, a jar of artichokes, as you can see. What you're going to want to do is keep the oil, drain it, but keep the oil because you're actually going to roast all the veg in it as well. Um, normally, I would use fresh garlic cloves, but um, I'm on a dead early tomorrow. Anna, I'm doing this for you, so I don't smell of garlic. I'm just going to use garlic granules instead. Uh, also some fresh black pepper. And also because, again, I'm on a massive, mass, massive, massive fennel seed crush at the moment. I'm going to use that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want... Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yes, you're going to need some wine as well. White wine actually is included in this recipe. I didn't drink that. That were, I bought it this empty. <laughs> oh, I just got a message. Oh, it's from Haney. Um, right, so where was I? Uh, yes, so oven. What you want to do is about 190, which I think works out at gas mark five. Pop that on, get that preheating, get your dish. So what I did was when I was um, chopping up the lamb, cleaning up, getting rid of that sinew and also a bit of fat, the fat that I kept, I just popped it in there. I know some people are going to find that super gross, but you know, this body likes a bit of fat. Although I'm not going to lie, I think I've lost weight. For my fans who have been following me from the beginning, have I lost weight? No, I'm still fat. Never mind, who cares? As long as you love yourself, that's the main thing. Um, righto, so pop that in there. What you're gonna wanna do now is actually drain off your artichokes, okay? Again, put a bit of the, I would say about what? Two teaspoons of oil into the container. Open that. Oh, I felt so strong. A wee bit. Pour that over. That was actually more than two teaspoons, but no one is watching. Shimmy that around at the moment, as you can see, as I'm doing right now. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. My oven has been on for a while now, heating up, so I'm going to look to you so I pile this all in now. So, again. 
guys know how much I love my blue gloves. So the first thing we're going to do is actually put in the lamb legs, steaks. We're going to put those in and we're going to also add in the courgettes and tomatoes now. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. Sorry. Well, again, it's wrong. We're going to do the lamb and the potatoes first. We're going to cook that off for roughly about 30 minutes. Actually, let me do this so you can see what I'm doing. Memphis, watch out. Watch out. Come on. Sorry, dog. Okay, I think I've done it. Can you see me? Woo! Okay, so we're going to pop the uh, lamb into the dish now. This is the one that I pre-cut up, got rid of the sinews. I put it into nice even chunks, as you can see. So this um, casserole dish or dish, whatever, is going to look super, super full, filled up. But one thing you have got to remember is obviously everything shrinks when you're cooking it. So let's just get that. Sorry. Over there, grease proof on that, so that's fine. Okay, so we got, as you can see, our lamb in the dish there. We're gonna now add in our potatoes. Okay, potatoes added. Just mix that around a bit in the um, artichoke oil. Like that, like so. Doesn't it look pretty? Alrighty, so pretty much that's what it's looking like now. I'm going to take off my glove. Alrighty, so there we go. You get a better picture of it there. You can, if you want, brown off the lamb first to get a nice colour on it. I'm just going to put in straight my garlic granules like that. I'm going to pop in some fennel seeds. Like that, you can, again, use your pestle and mortar for the fennel seeds and make it into a nice fine powder. Obviously, I'm not tonight. And also, you're gonna to wanna to add in some black pepper as well. Pop that in, get a nice coating on there. Like so. I tend to not really uh, cook with salt. That's just me. If you want to, by all means, add it. You know, it's totally up to you. I'm now going to just give this a quick mix around, mix a roux, like so. There we go. Make sure everything is evenly coated and covered. Alrighty, so you've got your lamb and potatoes in there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cook it for roughly about 30 minutes. In the oven again the oven is at about um 190 which is actually gas 190 yeah 190 which is roughly about gas mark five so yeah pop that in 30 minutes take it out and then we're going to add in the veggies so again as you can see here these are the veggies you parsley and this is going to go in at the end oh and the wine obviously later but you know and the artichokes but hey oh cheers there uh -huh. it's all gonna hit my front tooth <laughs> is it recording yes okay guys so it's been in the oven for 30 minutes that's the potatoes and the lamb so what we're gonna add in now is our zucchini and tomatoes um or courgettes even so i'm here obviously i've got my vine tomatoes and also i'm going to add in some plum tomatoes as well so literally you just want to like sporadically throw that around the dish like that again be careful because it is hot tomatoes in like that all righty and we're also going to want to add in our other veg as well so um this time round, I've got broccoli, 
carrots, uh, green beans, and also some baby corn. Yes, it looks like a lot in there. We're gonna mix it around, make sure that's all mixed in properly. But you gotta remember that when everything cooks, it does shrink down. It's like when you're doing roast potatoes as well, you know, everything does shrink. So we wanna try and get as much mixed up as possible, like so. It's smelling really great, guys, as well, you know. Mm -mm -mm. And plus, you can't have too much veg, you can't have too much meat. Meat and veg, like I said. Oh, by the way, also, I have got an Instagram page as well. Please check that out. Cooking with Sasha China, again. So all my photos are going to be posted on there. Obviously, all the videos are going to be posted on here. You can find me on Facebook as well. Uh, so Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Alrighty, so that's all done. As you can see, let's. Oh, that's really hot. Let's see if you can have a look. So there are loads of juices in there now. There we go. Have a look at that. Looks absolutely beautiful. And obviously, with all the colours of the veg as well, that's looking pretty good. So now you're going to get some of your uh, fresh leaf parsley. So what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit on now. I'm going to save the rest for later. Sprinkle it on now. Obviously it's still a bit wet from when I wash it, that's fine. No worries. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, this one was Now the little bit of wine that you have left. Great juice. Ah. Oh. So what you're gonna want to do now is just add a bit of wine into there as well. Obviously, I know that normally when you do cook with wine, you do uh, burn off the alcohol, but like I say. A little bit, tiny little bit, you're okay. It's fine. Waste not, what not. Alrighty, so now we're gonna pop this into the oven for another 30 minutes. And once that's done, it's gonna be ready. And obviously you're gonna have all the juices and everything and it's gonna be absolutely. See you guys then in about 30 minutes. Bye now. Alrighty, so one thing I did forget, sorry guys, was actually to add the artichokes. Oh, me. So we're going to add in some artichokes now. You know what? So yeah, so we've added in the artichokes. So whatever we don't eat tonight, I shall eat tomorrow for breakfast. Now, some of you are going, ooh, don't need that for breakfast. Yeah, you guys haven't met me. Alrighty, so we're gonna mix that in nicely. Again, please guys, be careful, it is real hot. Because like I say, it's been in the oven for about 30 minutes at, for about um, 190, gas mark five. Give that a good mix. Alrighty, okay. And now that is 100% ready to go in. This time I haven't forgotten anything, okay? And so we're going to cook this for uh, 30 minutes and we'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, so I'm having to slightly crouch. Sorry guys, I haven't got the camera angle perfect, but it is actually ready. So now what you're going to want to do is get your pesto. And while it's still warm, it's just literally scoop it on like that and this will add all those amazing flavors of like the basil the garlic the olive oil i just burnt i'm so sorry but like yeah literally and just mix it in real gentle because obviously the avocado is a little bit tender it was actually very tender the meat is tender as well the zucchinis are tender the carrots are tender I'm just going to mix it in nice and gently. Try and get as much out as possible. Again, I will do a video, guys, for you guys who, you know, do want to know how to do your pesto. It is very simple, but once you guys know, that's it. Nice and easy. Done. Um, final bit. Last bit of 
fresh leaf parsley, sprinkle on top, like that, and you are done. I have served it with some garlic bread. Um, I know there are potatoes in this, but uh, you know, this body doesn't get like this from not eating carbs. So yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video today. This was Cooking with Sasha China, and this was me showing you how I do a summer lamb tray bake. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Woo. <laughs>